guys you're welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is Bukomi BK Crown so we are gonna be checking out this video together titled why did Hala create us by Mufti Mek so let's watch guys <laughs> We know this verse, we've heard this verse, we understand this verse. It means, I have not created mankind or jinn kind except that they worship me, except for them to worship me. When we hear this verse, many people think, what exactly does this mean? All it means is, I want you to lead your life exactly as I told you to lead it. You need to fulfill the obligations and stay away from the prohibitions. My beloved brothers and sisters, some might find it absurd that a human being like us created with such a sophisticated brain, with such beautiful posture, with such organs that are unmatched, and yet he or she only lives for a few years on earth and disappears. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a believer has responded to questions that may arise and have arisen as to why he created us. Where were we before he made us? And where is it that we are going to go? Because it is only with that knowledge that you begin to truly enjoy and cherish the life on this earth with its problems, with its hardships, with its difficulties, because you're a believer. If you do not believe, and you do not want to look into what Allah Himself has said about where you were, where you are and where you are going, you will never be able to understand and you won't enjoy truly because for you, it will be a rat race throughout your life. You will be running behind things that do not have deeper pleasure than a few moments. And this is why it's important for us to constantly lead our lives within the pleasure of Allah. Mm. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Liman Hamida. Allah Akbar. Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. I'm Begar, a Norwegian convert to Islam, and I want to ask for your support to purchase prayer carpets for the first of its kind Norwegian masjid and Dawa center in the whole country of Norway. The cost is around $50,000. Would you like to pitch in and share in the immense rewards for tens of thousands of sedjas that will, inshallah, be performed on these carpets. Wouldn't it be great to meet Allah with all of these sedjas on your scale of good deeds? Of course, right? Listen to this hadith so you fully understand what reward you could be earning. The Prophet ﷺ said, make lots of sujood for you will not make a sajjah to Allah except that Allah raises you a degree because of it and removes a sin from you because of it. One single sajjah you make will not only erase your sin, but also raise you a level in Jannah. The distance between the levels in Jannah is like the distance between the heaven and the earth. And you will get this raise for every single sajja that you make. Now imagine how many levels Allah will raise you in Jannah when your sadaqah facilitates for tens of thousands of sajjas. Allahu Akbar! My dear brother or sister, Donate generously and secure your share of the carpets before the 50k is all raised. This opportunity will only be out there for a very short time. If you miss it, you miss it. So don't allow shaitan to trick you by delaying it. Click the link and make your donation now. Jazakallahu khairan. Hmm. Wow. This was really powerful. Sometimes I do sit down to think that why did God create us? Why? Why? Why has God created us? Why has God created me? Why am I on this earth? What am I supposed to do with my life on this earth? What am I supposed to do? Like this was really powerful. You need to sometimes we need to reflect into life because 
anytime you flex into life you can push other and work towards it most of us are still discovering ourselves we are still discovering why god created us why some people have already discovered themselves and they are working towards it like for instance let me use um the, the, the messages of god for instance maybe you are you are, a, you are an imam you're a pastor you're a priest or you're working for god you're a preacher you've already discovered yourself our halfway you've discovered yourself that's what god has majorly called you to do on earth but some of us are yet to discover ourselves and the more you think about it is the more you acknowledge god is the more you will give thanks to god for you know making it possible you know for for him to create us do you know what it takes for him to actually create us or for him to choose you to come on earth millions thousands of people are, are, like you don't know you don't know like it's just a miraculous thing and god that's why we need to acknowledge him every time we need to praise him we need to give him all the things no matter how busy we are no matter how life eat us or no matter what we do in this life we should make sure it's very important we should make sure that we give all thanks to god back because is the only one that can answer all these questions and he has a purpose for us being on this earth and we should try and discover ourselves and if you've discovered yourself walk towards that purpose and while walking towards that purpose don't forget to serve god because he majorly created all of us just to serve him the primary reason why god created every human being on earth is to serve him is to worship him he does not need your food he does not need anything from you all he needs is your thanksgiving one thing that god cherish most is your praises is your recitation is your you know your thanksgiving you can pray prayer is good it's good to pray to god but what really moves god the most is when you praise him because we, even we human beings, when people praise us, we are always, you know, happy. Especially when you do well, maybe in school, you came out with good results, or you help somebody in something, or something good happened, and people start praising you, people start giving accolades. You feel good about yourself, you start smiling, you feel happy. Then let's not talk about God. When you praise him he will be so so happy and you you will just answer your prayer within a second what it might take years for god to answer in human eyes it just take god a second a minute to answer that prayer so this is what's really powerful this is a very powerful you know this is so so powerful and i enjoyed watching thank you so much for watching guys Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one stay blessed bye